video we have here is 6 volts by 210 amps or 280 amp battery. It is from Trojan. It is a TE certified gel deep cycle battery. It is original and manufactured by Trojan. On the label here it said that it's solid maintenance free. And if you notice on the battery there is no handle to maneuver the battery around. To maneuver this battery around you have to maneuver just by these two holes that look like hair vents but they are not hair vents. You can stick your finger in here. See? And the battery will be easier to move just like here. So looking at the terminal, it's a standard aluminum terminal which is 0.83 millimeter. These little things are not air vent as I mentioned before, they are the handle to carry the battery. So here we have some standard charging method. Limited charging voltage is about 7.505 volts and 2.35 volt per cell. As I mentioned before, it's a 6 volt battery which originally it is a 7.05 volts. And as I said, 210 amps at 20 hours and 108 amps at 5 hours. I believe the 210 amps at 20 hours is if you take in the current directly from the battery. So that would mean DC to DC, you can get at least 20 hours by taking out 110 amps. We will be using an inverter and we will be kind of up two batteries together to get 12 volt. So that means we have to take out 180 amps and that will give we 5 hours. But joining two batteries together will not increase our amperage. Our amperage will remain, only thing will increase is the 6 volt. So we will be getting 12 volt. The height of this battery is 10.60 or 260 millimeter. The width of the battery is 7.60. The dimension of the battery is 9.60. So here is our setup. Batteries are sitting at 6.5 volt, 6.5 volt. But just to ensure, this is a relatively small charger. And remember, I told you there are six volts each. And to do that experiment. We have to put them in a 12 volt, so we're going to series them, and we're going to do that by using this little alligator clamp, positive here, <coughs> on the other side to the negative here, and just like that, you have yourself a 12 volt battery. Now let's try them. Put the negative meter here, the negative here. And we see a battery still at 13 volt, which is good enough. It's a peak at 14 volt battery, but it's a 12 volt setup. And for the test, we're going to use our little best tech inverter. So this is our best tech inverter here. This is our little meter that we will be using for that battery test. On one side, we have the negative and positive. On the other side, negative and positive. Don't worry about the hinder, the hinder working operation. I already set up that. And you can find sitting up of this on the internet. So on the back of the inverter, it comes with these dumb screw. So on the dumb screw, so on the dumb screw, you will connect the black side to the meter. positive side and this is the back of the inverter so the inverter looks something like this this is a negative and we'll connect that to the battery itself and to the other side like that right away you can see the meter is up so this is what the meter is showing before we connect anything so these are the most important part that we need so we're going to look for how much the battery 
run down to and how much time that it give us for the battery. So we're going to start the test, the battery is still at 13 volts. So here is our setup. Right now we are pulling 20 amps and 261 watts according to this battery or the load that we are pulling. We need to get 5 hour and approximately 180 amp hour worth of usage as according to the battery manufacturing. So one thing that I have noticed that the inverter display and the meter display doesn't display the same amount of wattage. One is displaying at least 3 millimeter more than the other. And I'm pretty sure this will have an effect on how much amperage or how much current have been drawn from this battery. So we are in the first two hours of the testing. The battery is still a little bit over 12, 12.1. And we are up to two hour worth of two, 260 watt, 61 watts by 21 amps. So we join a steady worth of current. We are drawing steady current. And remember we are using the 0.2C rating of testing the batteries. Battery is now dropped down to 11.9 volt. So I totally have some light bulb running out of this test. So I have two 100, 175, 110 watt. So that means that 275 plus 10 amps give us 285. Plus the inverter is running 8.14, which give us 293.1 watt. So I should be pulling that amount of the inverter. 293 watt from the inverter and 293 divided by 12 give us 24.4 amps so technically I should be pulling 24 amps but on the meter it doesn't show any of that so therefore looking at the screen is not actually what I'm pulling so that mean this meter calibrate properly so it's telling me I'm pulling this battery. I've already gone over my 180 amp hour because I'm in six hours now of usage. And you can see the battery die at nine volts. So that means technically this inverter should have go out from 10.5 volts. Because I'm not getting the right amount of amps, it lead me down the next road to check my meter. My clamp meter is actually showing me that I'm drawing 3.1 amps. I multiply 3.1 amps, I'm literally getting 37 amps. So this meter is showing me way, way off track. So guys, just remember if you buy one of this meter, they doesn't calibrate properly. So they're going to throw you half totally. So this is the end of my battery test and you can see that I have already gone over 6 hours of usage even though it showed me on this meter that I have accumulated 141 amp hours. Technically I think I've gone over 200 amp hours. Because of my meter is throwing me off, I figure more this battery already give me all the amp hours. So I'm going to call it a success.